Hello and welcome to Marketing91.com. The theory of multiplier explains the cumulative impact of changes in investment on income through changes in consumption expenditure. The Keynes multiplier is known as investment or income multiplier. The essence of the multiplier effect is that the total increase in income, output or employment is a multiple of the original increase in investment. For example, if an investment equals to rupees 100 crore is made, the income will rise by a multiple of rupees 100 crore. The investment multiplier is a ratio of the final change in income to the initial change in investment. It can be expressed as k equals delta y divided by delta i, where k is the multiplier, delta y is the increase in income, and delta i is the increase in investment. For example, if the investment increases by rupees 100 crore and the income rises by rupees 400 crore, then the multiplier is 4. Hence, the multiplier is the number by which the change in investment must be multiplied to determine the resulting change in total income. The multiplier is determined by the marginal propensity to consume or MPC. The relationship between the multiplier and MPC is expressed as K equals 1 divided by 1 minus MPC. The multiplier can be expressed as the reciprocal of the marginal propensity to save, that is, MPS equals 1 minus MPC. Thus, K equals 1 divided by 1 minus MPC, that is, K equals 1 divided by MPS. For example, if the MPC is 0 0.2, then the MPS is 1 minus 0 0.2, which is 0 0.8. Thus, the multiplier K equals 1 divided by MPS equals 1.25. The value of the multiplier varies directly with the MPC. Now let's understand the working of a multiplier. The assumptions are, consumer goods are available in sufficient quantities. Multiplier period is absent. There is unemployment in the economy. Resources required for production are available. MPC is constant. Excess capacity exists in the consumer goods industry. A closed economy is considered and there should be a net increase in investment. Assuming that the MPC is 4 divided by 5, the multiplier is 5. Now an increase in investment by rupees 1000 will increase the total income by rupees 5000, that is rupees 1000 into 5, which is the multiplier. Let's understand this process of income generation step by step. From the increased income of rupees 1000, the consumption MPC equals rupees 800, that is 4 by 5 of rupees 1000. Hence, the saving from the income is 1000 minus 800, which equals to rupees 200. Since rupees 800 is spent on consuming something, it goes back into the system as increase in income. Similarly, of the increased income of rupees 800, rupees 640 is spent on consumption which goes back into the system and this process carries on until the amount has increased to rupees 5000. Thus, an increase in original investment by rupees 1000 will increase the total income to rupees 5000. This is the multiplier effect. By formula, the multiplier can be expressed as an infinite descending geometric series. The formula for an infinite geometric progression is as follows. 1 plus R plus R1 plus R2 up to Rn equals 1 divided by 1 minus R, where R is the MPC which is less than 1. A simplified multiplier formula is change in income equals 1 divided by 1 divided by 1 minus MPC into change in investment equals 1 divided by MPC into change in investment. In this chart, income is on the x-axis. Consumption and investments are on the y-axis and there is a 45 degree line from origin O. Curve C represents the consumption curve. Superimposing a fixed amount of investment on the consumption curve C, we get the total expenditure curve C plus I. The C plus I curve intersects the 45 degree line at point E and the original equilibrium level of income is Y. When investment rises, the total expenditure curve shifts upwards to C plus I plus I1. The increase in investment in this case is equal to AE, which is the vertical distance between the two expenditure curves. The new expenditure curve, C plus I plus I1, intersects the 45 degree line at E1, 
and the new equilibrium level of income is Y1, which is larger than the original income by YY1. The increase in income delta Y is a multiple of the increase in investment delta I, that is YY1 is greater than AE. Limitations of the multiplier are Availability of consumer goods Continuous net investment Multiplier effect Full employment ceiling and Availability of resources Leakages in the working of the multiplier are Paying off of a debt by the people Holding of idle cash balances Income spent on imports Taxes Increase in prices and Purchase of old stocks and securities. Let's look at an example of how the multiplier works in a real world setting. During the Sunburn Music Festival in Goa, festival attendees buy pizzas, beer, sodas, etc. The income of sellers and of those food items increases and they spend a fraction of their increased income, which is their MPC, to buy more of these food items. If the festival attendees spend rupees 8 lakh at the festival and the MPC of the retailers is 0 0.60, then the multiplier is 2.5, that is 1 divided by 1 minus MPC. Thus, the festival increases Goa's income by 8 lakh into 2.5, which equals rupees 20 lakh. Thank you.